I've tried countless workout programs, spent hours researching, and over the years, I've discovered a strategy that almost doubles your muscle growth speed, and it's so straightforward that most people completely overlook it. So whenever you lift weights, your muscle tighten to lift the weight up, then stretch to lower it back down. But something special happens when your muscle stretch under pressure. The muscles sense the stretch in their fibers, and in response, they start a process that tells your body to build more muscle. This is what researchers now call stretch-mediated hypertrophy. But it wasn't until recently that this idea was really tested, and the results were surprising, even to me. There are four studies I want to talk about, each looking at a different muscle group. The first two studies check what happens when you only do the bottom part of an exercise, where the muscle is most stretched. One of the studies published just four years ago used preacher curls to see how the biceps grew after five weeks. The result? People who only did the bottom half of the curl had 2.6 times more biceps growth than those who only did the top half. Pretty cool, right? Another study also from four years ago did almost the exact same thing but focused on leg muscles using leg extensions. They had people do either the bottom or top half of the leg extensions with another group doing the full range of motion. After 12 weeks, they measured the growth of the quad muscles at four different spots. The muscles grew more at almost every spot for those who only did the bottom half of the leg extension. These studies show how important the bottom position of an exercise is because that's when your muscles muscle is stretched the most. We'll talk about more what this means for your workouts soon. But before that, what about exercises that stretch your muscles even more than regular exercises? Would those exercises make your muscles grow even more? This is where two more studies come in. The first study looked at triceps. People had one arm do cable pushdowns while the other arm did overhead cable extensions. They did these exercises twice a week and switched which arm they trained first each time. According to the stretch focus training idea, the overhead position should work better since it stretches one of the triceps heads, the long head, more than pushdowns, where the elbows stay by your side. But what did the results show? After 12 weeks, the overhead arm grew about 1.5 times more not just in the long head, but surprisingly in all three heads of the triceps. Let's take a look at the final study, which focused on the hamstrings. In this experiment, two groups of participants were assigned different exercises. One group performed seated leg curls, while the other did lying leg curls. Since three of the four hamstring muscles extend from the hip to the knee, the seated position stretches them more than the lying position. So based on this, which exercise do you think was more effective? You guessed it. After 12 weeks, the seated leg curls led to significantly greater growth in these three hamstring muscles compared to the lying leg curls. Now that we've all covered the research, let's get into the practical side of things. How can you apply these findings to speed up your gains? It's simple really. I've got three training tips for you. The first tip applies to all your exercises. We've seen how crucial the bottom position of an exercise is for muscle growth, so don't cut it short. When bench pressing, lower the bar all the way to your chest and consider using dumbbells for an even deeper stretch. When doing curls, fully extend your arm to the bottom. And when squatting, make sure to go down at least parallel or further if possible. Also, be sure to control the weight as you lower it into the bottom position. And then when you get there, avoid cheating or bouncing out of it using momentum. This part of the movement is often the toughest and it's tempting to cheat. But don't. Control the weight and remember that this might be the most important part of the movement for growth. The next step concerns your choice of exercises. To be honest, you don't need a bunch of special exercises to achieve more stretch-mediated hypertrophy. You're likely already doing them. The classic exercises like bench presses, curls, and squats all pull your muscles in a deep stretch position, provided you perform them with a full range of motion. However, as we discussed earlier, some muscles might benefit from being stretched even more. These are known as biarticulate muscles, meaning they cross over two joints instead of one, allowing them to be stretched more than usual. So for these muscles, you'll want to choose exercises that put them into that extra stretch position. Until more research comes out on other muscles and exercises, here are four muscle groups and exercises I'd recommend incorporating into your routine. The first two muscles to focus on are the hamstrings, 
and the triceps. As we saw earlier, using exercises like seated leg curls and any type of overhead triceps extensions will give a greater stretch and lead to more growth. But the biceps are another muscle I'll add to the list. One of its heads, the long head, can be stretched even more by doing a slight incline curl or a behind-the-body cable curl. Although there isn't direct proof yet, it seems very likely to provide better results. Remember, the glutes are important too. While there's no direct evidence yet, Romanian deadlifts, squats, and split squats are probably your best choices because they work your glutes in that all-important stretch position. Now, here's a more advanced method that I like to call lengthened partials. Since the bottom position of an exercise seems so crucial for growth, why not spend more time there? Here's one way to do it. But keep in mind that you shouldn't use this on big exercises like squats, deadlifts, or overhead presses. And you shouldn't do it often because it can be very tiring. So every now and then, like during your last set for a safe exercise, such as dumbbell press, flies, leg extensions, triceps extensions, or biceps curls, try this out. After you've reached the point where you can't do any more full range reps, continue your set by doing half reps at the bottom position. This will stress your muscle in that stretch position until you reach failure. I'd also highly suggest that you give this video a watch next for an exercise to help you speed up the fat loss process.